Welcome to the interior of our 600 machines. In this we'll just be going over some basic control functions. Uh, as with all our other machines, we need to acknowledge the Class 3 automatic unlock on the C1000. From here we can go to the dashboard. We can see that we have a lot of information here given to us from fuel and def and oil pressure. We've got the uh, gear indicator here, uh, mile per hour, RPM when we have attack, and various lights that can illuminate to tell you if there's any issues with the machine. Over here on the left bottom we've got the dot matrix that will display settings and that can be looked at through the thumb pad down here on the column. We can change that and interface with that through here. On the right, we've got our, our column switch. So we've got our horn and turn signals and controls for bright lights and also our, our wiper controls. Here is our control for the, um, this pushing it down will bring the column to you. And pushing it forward will, will allow you to adjust the height of the steering wheel or the angle. Over here we've got our shuttle, we're in park now, so you'll need to grab the detent in the back, pull it back, you're out of park, you're in neutral. Moving it into the upper will bring you into forward, into the lower will bring you into reverse. And when you're in these, you can control your speed with the shuttle by going up or down, so we can actually adjust our speed by bringing it up or bringing it down and you can do that in forward and reverse and place the machine back in park below us here we've got the um, accelerator pedal that you can use for road mode brakes that can be coupled or uncoupled and our clutch which needs to be depressed to start the machine on the B pillar speaking of starting the machine we've got the key up above it we've got controls for draft and con basic control of our three-point hitch the lighting panel interfaces above it and also choosing what um, type of PTO speed that you want is below the, the lighting grid. Down here we've got just our our pad that will give us lighting options as well. We've got the automatic diff lock, automatic four uh, four wheel drive. Um, so here's our automatic um, four wheel drive and four wheel drive lock in uh, automatic diff lock and and diff lock cab suspension. This is for guidance. Uh, this is for um, quick steer, hazard lights. Any type of um, ancillary power can be plugged into these locations. Under this panel here, we've got a little storage location. We've got our mirror control and heated mirrors as well. Up on the armrest, We've got our joystick that we can use to uh, move forward and reverse just like the shuttle. And on it we have a button for changing our transmission speed and that can be seen on the dash here, changing right there above the mile per hour. This is our throttle, PTO. Here is a hydraulic lockout and a, basically a road button. On occasion, you can hit this with your elbow and this will cause you not to be able to initiate any guidance or anything like that when you get in the field. This is our three-point height adjustment interface. These are our hydraulic remote valves. On this unit, we've got four up here, two back here. And this is a C1000. If you're wanting to get on the go quick and nobody's there to help you, you'll probably need to get in this hydraulic section, select 
like that, you can adjust your valves individually here. So we can adjust our kickout time, whether we want that to be on infinity, whether we, how much flow we want to see in it through this location. So we can change that with the scroll knob, escape out of that, escape out of that. And these two screens can be adjusted to put in something that you want to see that can give you information that can be provided through this, just select them here. So if you wanted to see an average of what you were doing in the field, it can show you if you wanted to see instant, it can show you as well. There are other possibilities to use for this machine that can be explained better on site from a product support person or a field service tech or your salesman uh, but until that person can get there if you want to get a quick start up this this will get you going and if you've got questions feel free to call any of us uh, with with uh, your desires and needs